Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring and I'm here to distract you. Welcome to um, my non-league to top league series. Um, we're just going to do our season review from the last season. Um, so we did win the Premier League, the Carabao Cup and the Community Shield. So we did have an overall good season as much as I was extremely frustrated in the, probably the last three episodes before this. So... Um, our sign of the season, or good signing was Rodriguez, but our sign of the season goes to Nicholas. Um, as much as he dropped off near the end of the season, but because he did have an injury, uh, picking him up for only 8 million, just kind of 16 goals and 15 assists is pretty amazing. Um, everyone probably to give a shout out is probably from Fulham, is uh, Tello, who we did, I think, miss uh, after he picked up his. Uh, big injury. Um, other than that, um, disappointing signings probably would have said was him, even though they reckon he's a good signing. Most of them are getting C and above um, for our signings. Uh, even Will got uh, a C plus, even though he's probably going to be leaving at the end of the season. Uh, he's probably going to be leaving at the end of the season. So he did get an A plus. Um, because we're supposed to qualify for Europa League, but we won the Premier League by one point. Look at the form we were in until we hit here. And that was where it went absolutely turd -alicious. Uh So we had a disappointing run in the Europa League. Um, again, I think because of bullshit. But hey-ho. FA Cup, again, more bullshit. Carabao Cup, outstanding. And if we were sure we were better in Man United on that one occasion this season. Um, games to remember, our game biggest win is our 6 0 win over Everton. Match to remember is beating Arsenal 4 0. Um, and goal of the season was Livermentos against West Brom in the FA Cup. So, otherwise, reputation doesn't change. Um, oddly enough, everything's down apart from our match day commercial revenue I think that's because that was we were in the Champions League last year so that's probably why a lot of that is down um, our shirt sales go to Mac Tonoli, Isaac Oscar and uh, Marcus Vinicius who did win young player of the year again I think um, even though he went off the boil again near the end of the season ah what a shame I mean, the first time I've seen this all have sevens. Again, yes, very happy with De Vries overall, apart from near the end of the season. Again, extremely happy with Vermento, again, apart from towards the end of the season. Val, again, apart from towards the end of the season. Dicker, again, apart from towards the end of the season. Uh, Monte, I guess he was a bit patchy all season. That's why he didn't have as many games. Um... Again, Nev, again, patchy all season. Tanuli, patchy all season. I'm surprised uh, Tello didn't get that. Miley's been put in there. Miley was pretty good, actually. If you look at that return, he's good as a bloke off the bench or needs to be rotated in a bit more. Oscar went completely disappearing near the end of the season. Seems he scored 20 goals for us. And then, yeah, nothing. And I would say both strikers went completely missing for us. But Isaac ended on 49 goals and 14 assists. Um, and same with Vinicius. Very high scores. Can't complain too much. Um, I did win manager month in August, September, December, February. And I actually did win manager of the year. Which I was very surprised that I did. But I did win manager of the year. Um, as for ever... Awards, um, Isaac won fans player of the season, young player of the season it was Marcus, starting the season we already know was Nev, um, goal of the season we already know, our top score of course with 49 goals was Isaac, most assists 19 with Livramento, most man of the match as Isaac, highest average rating Isaac and the best pass completion was Pitbull, that's lies, that's got to be lies, I've watched him pass, he is shite. 
Um, so records broken, 49 goals. I thought that would be a break, record breaker. Livermento did break the most assists, and Isaac with the 12, that's pretty good. But of course, our discipline has let Livermento down there with 16 yellows and one red. Wow. Uh, and our highest B received actually was for Boyo. Um, as I told you, he won English Young Player of the Year, and he won European Golden Boy, actually, I forgot to mention. That is what Marcus won there. Um, things to remember is that we won the Premier League, the Carabao Cup, and the Community Shield. Um, our timeline has just been added that we have the Premier League success um, for us. So this is the overall best 11. Who has snuck in? Marcus has snuck in on the bench, I think, yes. And and um, Val has gone in as well, nice. Um, so people that we don't really have here, Trippier, does he still, does he still play? No, he's a coach now, not a great coach. Uh, we've still got the two centre backs, Dan Byrne. Again, is a coach, not the best. Uh, Tonelli Gimenez went out on loan at Chelsea. How did he get on at Chelsea? Nothing spectacular, did he? I think he is going to be one of the guys that we do try and sell this season. Um, back, we still got air. Gordon again, he went out on loan to Arsenal. Again, didn't have the best of seasons there. He's probably never one more to sell. Joe Linton, I'm definitely selling. Um, he lost his spot. I thought he could still play a few games, be a bit part player for us. When he played for us, he played okay. And then he went off the boil uh, with his training and stuff. And of course, we've got Isaac. Who else is on the bench? Nick Pope, is he still around? He's an awful goalkeeping coach. Uh, Lewis Hall still with us. Oscar, we've got. Oh, Danzi, we've got. Oh, and how did you get on on your lane? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, where are they are now? Okay, yeah, we went, we won the title. Excellent. Uh, followers have gone up. That's probably because we won the title. Our next was expected. So again, develop youth system. We need a better youth system than board. Um, the players we're bringing through aren't amazing, but they're okay. Attacking, entertaining, high tempo. Work within the budget, sell players for profit, uh, spend original transfer budget, um, reach the latter stages, and qualify for the Champions League. Okay, they're not expecting us to win the Premier League again until a couple of seasons' time. Um, so that's fine. All we've got here, end the season plan, so it was qualify for the Champions League, wasn't it? Uh, Premier League aims would be to. Yep. Uh, latter stages, wasn't it? There we go. Positive. Oh, it's over to, uh... There we go. End the meeting. So that's that done. Um, season report. This is records who our team is. Injury issues, end of season break, training camp destination. We're going to go to Northern Ireland, are we? Uh, surely we should go somewhere else. I think to go to Austria. Yeah, let's go to Austria then. Yeah, why did it say Ireland? That was weird. So we'll go off to Austria for our season break. Um, and that's it. So next thing you will see is any transfers that we will do. Um, and hopefully the start of the new season and us to try and defend our Premier League title. So I'll see you then. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the um, just had a season review. Now we're having a look at our transfers. Um, I have gone a little bit mad. Um, so I'm a little bit annoyed with myself because I've gone a little bit mad with transfers um to start with we let's go back to last season where we were bringing in some players so we've signed this young left back um i thought for his this 
some of his skills and ability. Uh, we need a new left back because I just don't think Tierney was quite right and Batty definitely is. So we definitely need another left back to compete with Monty um, and uh, Salas. Uh, looks like it's the guy to do so. Uh, we then signed a young striker from um, Inter. Um, I thought he could look like he could eventually turn into a, a decent replacement for Isaac. Um, you never know. Um, 16 million for him, probably. I think I've probably spent a bit too much on quite a few of these players. This guy is definitely um, a misjudgment on my end. Well, I don't know. The scouts said he was meant to be five star ability. Um, we signed him. He's two footed, which is decent. Um, but. I just don't think he's going to quite make it with other players that we've ended up signing. Um, Leandro um, looks a really good player. Um, again, at 11, 15 million, not a bad price. This guy we ever spent on, but that's really because I wanted another six foot six centre back uh, to be my partner in crime with Val. Um, he's quicker than Val, and he could be a very good partnership with him and Val together at the back. Uh, this was a bit of an overspend as well. I, I was just trying to find some English players. Again, this guy was rated as four and a half star potential at 19. Never English left back. I thought he could play a bit part games. He's not quite, so it's 25 million on him. Maybe a bit of an overspend. Uh, Patrick was just another cheap uh, striker slash midfielder uh, that we could have brought in for three point six. And then again, we spent quite a bit of money on uh, Henry. Um, again, English. I was trying to bring some English players in 19. He still has kept his five star. Um, I thought this was a bargain at five and this guy at six. A uh, young Japanese uh, player. Um, we've loaned him out to Burnley. And I think the same with this guy. They've both gone out on loan to Burnley. But they're both 18. No, 19. I think they were 18 at the time when I bought, bought them. Again, another very cheap, good player. 19 year old. Um, this guy looks a little bit better. Could play left back. Could play uh, the left Mazala for us. Um, and then I was chasing this guy for a while because he was originally rated at five star potential, and he was showing a three star current ability. I thought for the quick his pace that he has. Uh, now looking at him, he does look like an okay attacking midfielder. But at eighteen, he's still got potential to grow, and maybe we might be able to get our money back there. As for outs. End of last season, just a couple of loans, a couple of well, a loan, um, a cheap sell to Leicester, and someone we let out on a free. So in the end, we have spent quite a bit of money there, but we've spent even more this season. We've got a lot of money back. We've got about 100, 130 million back um, because we've sold at Gordon to Arsenal. Uh, a couple of guys left on free. Roberto Carlos. Um, Came back after all his injuries. Looked pretty good for us. Been here a while, but at 33. I don't think I'm gonna, ever going to get 22 million for him again. So I sold him. Sold a youngster. We sold Kieran Tierney actually for 50 million. So we made a bit of profit. If it goes up to 60 million, we've made a very good profit on him. Uh, soon for one season. Um, we then sold another young goalkeeper. We've loaned out that Barcelona guy. Because um, I said, just don't think he's going to quite be good at Gimenez has finally left us again, gone to Saudi for 59 million. We've loaned out the young striker. Uh, we've loaned out Perez again. I can't sell him. I don't know. People keep saying they've made it easier on this game to sell players uh, with um, their interim, and I just watch ever people. I watch like Loki Doki. I watch Lelujo. I watch ever people. And they seem to be able to sell their players. I just can't seem to sell players. No one seems to want to buy my players. And I've dropped the price sometimes on some of my players to way below what they're valued at. And they still won't go. Anyway, we've also then loaned out Elliot Anderson again for a loan fee as well. Uh, which is good. It could eventually they could buy him. Um, again, I just don't think we're going to use him. We have sold a guy to Florentina. Um... Our moto's gone um, because of the two guys we, the one guy we bought in, and we've got Livermento still. Uh, we finally sold um, Cabango um, 
made a little bit of profit on him. Again, that's when we were selling players for just what we bought him for, and they've had decent seasons. Uh, Neil's got Eric on loan. As you can see, we've got Burnley highlighted here. We did look for an affiliative club. I don't usually like to do it, but we're struggling to loan my youngsters out for people who do them as, like, first teamers. Um, and they're good enough to play for some first team teams that have been coming in for them. So we finally loaned some free players to Burnley. I don't like doing it. Do have a go at me if you don't like it either. We did sell Baldanzi for 75 million to Milan, so that's really helped. And then we have loaned some players out, but they're both like squad players. And I look at these, I look at Ipswich and I look at Preston's, and these two players are good enough to play first team for these two teams. So it is a little bit frustrating. That's why I did the Burnley thing. Um, so don't get too annoyed at me. As for over here, we did sign Kappa because I thought he'd be a good third choice keeper. And you'll see why now we probably shouldn't have bothered with him. Uh, we signed this guy as just like a backup striker. Um, but again, don't think he's going to be good enough. So we're selling him. This is the guy I brought in to replace... Um, Pitbull, um, to start with, this guy came up first, um, really good physicals, uh, physicals, really good stats for that sort of position we wanted to play, um, wish he was a little bit taller, but he's got a perfectionist personality, thought perfect, yeah, quite a bit of money. We then also signed uh, Paco, because he was on a free, I know he's a decent-ish uh, centre-back, because um, uh, Botman wants to leave, so we're trying to sell Botman. Then I thought we do really need an outstanding right back. And this guy I've been chasing for years. I originally I tried to get him before Florentina got him. Uh, when I think I was at Fulham. So I finally splashed out 81 million on him. I thought why not just get him. And then annoyingly this guy came up. After we bought this guy. Again really really good. Uh, ball winning midfielder. Resolute, so the personality might is very similar, but he is that taller, and he's cost us a lot less, which is frustrating. Um, and then this guy, we probably shouldn't have bought, but I thought at 35 million, for this type of goalkeeper, you've got to buy him. He currently reckons he is five is at his maximum potential to what he can he can get to, but that's four and a half stars already. He's only 21. Re really good personality, really cheap wages. So I just thought that was a pointless buy. So we tried to sell Perez, but then he got annoyed that we we're trying to sell him. So I thought I'll keep him. And I don't know if to try and sell De Vries now or loan De Vries out. I don't know because this guy might be a big flop. But for 35 million, if he is a big flop, we can still then sell him for more than 35 million. So I have spent a lot more money than I'd want to. Probably got a lot more players in than I'd like to. And I am trying to get rid of some players. Um, as for our first few games, we will be playing Man City, Man, City, Man United in the uh, Community Shield and Sunderland for our first game. We then have Man United again straight away as our next fixture in the Premier League. But as you can see from our fixtures, not played massively strong teams. Probably only the big teams are the four German teams that we played. Um, we struggled against Frankfurt again. <laughs> to try and get revenge um we were playing capo in goal but he did have a very good game um and we did have uh rob up front um but after that we did destroy bayern bayern leverkusen Borussia mönchengladbach and bayern at munich themselves um which i think they did have a reasonably strong team i don't mean they're their full strength teammate but they had a reasonably strong teammate um we probably did have our full strength teammate ish um, but shows you that we have our 4-1 win over them. But yeah, so next thing in the episode will be us taking on um, Man United in the Community Shield um, and also Sunderland in the Premier League to get our season kicked off. Um, so I'll see you uh, at the start of those games. Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's the first game of the new season. Uh, it's just a community shield that we'll be playing in, so let's have a little look how we are going to be lining up. So the one tweak I have made to the tactic is I have changed this to more of a defensive midfielder because I did notice we get used to get caught quite quickly with some of the better quality teams like Man United. We'll see how that works in this fixture. 
Um, if it doesn't make much of a difference, um, we're changing back to support. Other than that, it's usually the standard. Um, as you can see, there's gonna be some debuts for the new goalkeeper, left back, left center back, right back. Um, Rodriguez was here before, Tallo was here before, uh, Tanoli was here. Uh, Len Len Lendro um, in the attacking midfield is also making his debut, I think, off the top of my head. Um, but we have got a very, I would say, strong, a very strong team now. Um, who has missed out a number? Are you? Because you've had to come on the bench, haven't you? Because of. Uh, we'll give you a left back number for now. Not that I think you'll be left back, but you've come on to play as a left back. Because uh, we've had some fitness issues with Monty and Livramento. So they're not the usual two on the bench for us today. Um, and some of our midfielders as well. That's why you will see Miley and Hall on there. So let's have a little look. Um, I'd say maybe, I don't know, this goalkeeper. He doesn't look like he's their best goalkeeper. This guy's new. I know that's the guy we could have signed, but I would turn it down because it just didn't suit what we were playing. But yeah, it looks like they've put another strong team-ish out. If this is their new goalkeeper, um, it might not be. Um, but let's go out there. See how we go on there. They are playing a 4-3-3. Keep it on the right hand side. <laughs> Interesting. And we are, of course, sticking with our 4-3-1-2 tactic. There we come. Right, let's just get out there. Let's get off to a good start and maybe get a one over Man United. If I had to choose those to win this or the league game, I would prefer to choose the league game. Personally. Right. It's going to take me a while to get used to saying some of these players' names, but here we go. But we've got the old Marcus we already know about. Uh, Salas. This left hand side tries to get a ball into Isaac. Isaac. Header, 1-0. Salas and Isaac, if they can get a partnership like this, it will be amazing. I do admit, I probably think that goalkeeper isn't their first choice. Because I noticed Onana on the bench. Nice ball in, Isaac. Lovely header. I don't think the keeper had any chance at any way of getting there, did he? And what a good start. They're a good Man United are. They have beat us. They beat us twice last season in the league. Uh, Val, nice defending there. Get rid of it. Oh, what the hell happened there? Seriously, game. Seriously, you're gonna screw me over already in the first game of the new season. Why did Isaac do that? Please explain to me why Isaac done this. Like, seriously? Come on, game. Don't get me off to a, a bad mood already. See, so, yes, blaming Val for that, but that's completely Isaac's fault. What was wrong with what Val did there? Val did as best that he could. He probably could have, maybe should have hoofed it. But he was doing a sensible ball into bloody Isaac. He should have just welled that away afterwards. Get rid. Right, nice header. Right, gone Rodriguez out to him. Tanoli. Tello. Gone Marcus. Right, Isaac's coming down. You're going to help this time, Isaac. Do it properly, mate. That's better. Play that, tries to play out the line to Rodriguez, but Rodriguez couldn't quite understand what's going on. But foul comes in. Nice. Tanoli. Up to Leonardo. Lin Leonardo. Right, Gunty. Tries to play the ball over to Isaac. Not going to quite make it. He picks it back up again. Nice ball through to Isaac. It's falling through to Marcus. Puts it away. Okay. And looks like he's doing a little funky dance down the bottom there. Right. Nice run from Marcus. And he takes the ball and slots it. Nicely in the corner. Both strikers scoring early on is good. Right. Okay, 
uh, tackling one and tell out. Oh. Offside, surely. So why they let it carry on. Right. Lee in goal. Uh, Salas. Vent. Val. Val. Val and Val. Nell and Val. A nice little bit of footwork, those two. Oh, lucky Marcus, but we've overcommitted now. Got to get a tackle in somewhere. Go on. Oh, Salas, stay on your feet. That is not very good goalkeeping. That is not very good goalkeeping. Personally, I don't think that's very good goalkeeping because that did not look like a very good shot. And Lee, you're not really showing me what you should look like in your first game when I signed you. Right, okay, Salas, that's terrible. Right. And then he's... Not the most powerful shot there, I would say, mate. And goal. Hmm, okay, okay. We know, we know United are good. I know United are good. Go on, one of you. Tonoli hit it. <sighs> Straight back. It's going to be a massive scoreline this game. <laughs> After 25 minutes, it's already been five goals. Nice take. And Tonoli, good finish. God, it's not going to be a goal straight away, is there? Right, good covering. Right, get rid of it. Nice. Tanoli picks it up. Tries forward. Finds Gunty out on this left hand side, right hand side. He brings it back in. So he now plays out to Salas on the left. Got his man to beat. Can he beat his man? He does. Whips a decent ball. Leonardo or Isaac. <sighs> Isaac should be scoring that. Leandro. Leandro. Leon. Leandro. Right. Looks like the game's settled. Maybe not. Kimmich. Deflection. Oh, for God's sake. Seriously? <laughs> Fucking seriously. Only that would happen against me. I'm telling you now. You would not see my team be able to header that back and score like that. You would never see it. We'd never see it. He just saved. Wow, he did. He can save the ball. Not showing like he was. A new striker they got. Say that, son. It says they're playing silver up front. Who the hell says silver? This guy. Is that front, is he? Is that centre back? Is that what's throwing us off because they're playing him at front? I'm confused. Really confused. Really confused what's going on there. Now he's playing centre back now again. All right, can we do anything? Midfield's not really winning it, are they? Go and say that one of them bangs into the back of that. Tell Rodriguez and Le uh, say Le Leandro aren't quite doing it for me but and Tello just goes and bangs a beautiful free kick I don't think any keeper was saving that 
the top bins there. Gordon needs that bow. Right back. So it's going to be a Man United build up again. Offside. He looked off. Maybe not. Fucking beautiful strike, but it looked offside to me. What? I want to see the lines. You're not going to show me the lines, are you? Quality finish. Alright, maybe he was just on. Fucking cracking finish. Alright, great debut for our goalkeeper. Shit. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was awful. That was awful defending. That was absolutely disgustingly shit defending. Absolutely disgustingly shit defending. How we got away with that? Because that was awful. Why the hell is he fucking this far back? Why the fucking hell is he here, not up here? What the what the fuck? You've had a nightmare game. You've had such a great preseason, and you've turned shite all of a sudden. Um, oh, I forgot. I haven't got bloody. Oh, he's gonna have to stay on. I don't know what it is. It's, it, it frustrates me because the reason we sh I noticed we struggle a little bit against United is because they've got quick attackers. But we've played against Liverpool, we've got quick attackers. We've played against Arsenal and they've got quick attackers. We've played against other teams that have got really quick attackers. And we still seem to, we seem to be handle them. But it, with Man United, it's like our team just forget how to defend. It really seems like it. Like... And we push so far up sometimes, I've watched us. Like this, we're so high up. Other teams, we're not this high up. And we're not beating this piss easy with balls over the top. Or shit, ball, simple balls like that. This is fucking awful defending. Why do we defend so shit against United? I don't, I really don't get it. I really don't get why we defend this terrible against United. Like, why is he sliding in? I know there are new back... Three of, the, three of them are new in the back four. But... Apparently, these two are playing amazing. I don't know, got to maybe drop it just down to a standard line from now on instead of the high line. Go on, Oscar, make it 5-5. Five, five. Yes. Oh, fuck off, he was on. Entertaining game for the neutrals. Confusing as fuck for me. Because, like I said, at the end of last season... I was pulling my eye out of how many goals we were conceding, and I had changed nothing. Maybe I need to... Oh, come on, guys. Stop fucking conceding. I took the goalkeeper out because I thought it was a bloody goalkeeper. But it's friggin' Vowers having a nightmare game. Oh, 
this all is not right here, fluid. You are right fluid, but you're not really a right back, are you? Oh, I hate, I hate this, I hate the new start of a new season. Because, you, like I said, I spend all this money. I think I've got a real solid team. Yeah, I know they take a little while to, to understand each other. And then you play a game like this, and it fucks everything up. It looked like he came from an offside position. Is it going to go into penalties or something? Right. I'm going to make some tactical changes, which. I'll just do that and just see if that makes any difference against Man United because is he not offside? I don't know. Go on, break. Go on through, boy. Oh, I can't. Marcus. And then he just leaves it. Seriously, game. Come on. I'll get rid. No, somehow Kimmich is beating our players in the, in the air. I think he's that towards me. Oh, tello, 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 tello. Come on, please. Thank you. Oh, straight to penalties. Didn't even get a chance to make any changes. Okay, we'll go sh straight to penalties then. All right, nice entertaining game for you lot though, wasn't it? 5-5. Five, five, five. Um, now let's see what we can do penalty-wise. He's at scores. He usually over... Usually misses, actually. No, I don't usually either. He usually just misses. Um, De Vries, come on. I, you're not a bad penalty saver, are you? No, that was awful. You already... Look like you're already died going that way before you even got close to the ball. Right, Oscar steps up. Nice penalty, Oscar. Right, to freeze. This time, wait a little bit. Right, I'm going. I think you're diving away from the ball on purpose now. I know you're ex Man United player. Doesn't mean you have to let them win. Tonelli, nice penalty. Come on, DeVries. Oh, Kimmich hit the post. Isn't he German? Don't German Germans don't miss penalties, do they? All right, he's not had the best of debuts for such a big amount of money, and he's fucking missed his penalty as well. Spent eighty-one million pounds on that guy. It's meant to be four and a half star rated, and you've played absolutely shite. Ah, oh, De Vries, you should have saved that. De Vries, you should have saved that. Right, come on, De Vries. You can do it, mate. I know you can. Uh, 
Let's go on to Silver, our centre back, who's had an amazing game. So he's probably just going to bang it in. Oh, De Vries saves it. Wow. Okay. I hand in the trophy here, it looks a bit like me. Okay, trophy one of four that we're in, I think. Okay. Still confused. If We need to drop the line or not. Um, we need to play a slightly defensive tactic. Oh. Uh, what a crap debut, crap debut. Crap debut, really, isn't it? And Val playing at 6.4 is a bit disappointing. But I know this guy's good. He's like meant to be like a wonder kidney, I think. And everyone wants him to start with. But entertaining game for everyone now. Half time four three three and then in that five five. Alright, um I'll say congratulations. I just unlocked an achievement to say I retained a trophy because I forgot we won that last year against Man United as well, didn't we? Mm. Right. So, Sunderland up next. Um, at home. Derby, isn't it? I forgot that as well. That was weird how it's landed on that. I didn't think about that at the time. But Derby Day as well. A fierce rivalry as well, isn't it? The town where Derby. I'm a fierce. Completely forgot that. But cool. Yeah, right. Let's see you at the Sunderland game. Hey, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the second game of today's episode. It is at home against Sunderland and it's going to kick off the season in the Premier League. Um, changes to the first team. Is I bought um, Oscar in because he came off the bench and scored. Um, Monty is coming at left back because uh, Salas has picked up an injury. Um, and I've left De Vries in the goal. Um, we've got the young right back on the bench to replace him, but he's completely knackered for some reason because uh, Livermento and Leo have both picked up injuries. Um, yeah, they're both out, so actually it might be worth just putting Rodriguez on there, so the youngster for fitness. Um, yeah, I don't know why my bench is so unfit at the moment, but anyway, let's get straight into the game and see if we can score quite a few goals here, hopefully. We're playing our 4 3 1 2, and Sunderland, just being promoted this season, are playing a 4 3 3. They've been promoted with Middlesbrough, I forgot to say, so we've got both our derbies um, being able to play this season. So let's get straight into it. And I'm hoping for quite a few goals today. Just not conceding them, hopefully. Gunty down his uh, right hand side with an early ball in gets the wins the corner from his cross and the highlight is continuing from the corner. Tello to whip one in back post to Isaac. Oh, keeper saves Tanoli headers it back towards goal. And apparently someone was offside. Isaac was offside. Right, but the highlight is continuing straight afterwards. And is this gonna be a Sunderland uh, attack? 
No, going to intercept it. Gives it to Oscar. Oscar bursts forward. Plays an absolute terrible ball. Terrible, terrible ball. Gunty's going to try and cover Val. Comes over it now. And easy for De Vries um, for us there. Right, Monty gives it to Valentina. Val get it now. Gunty's got it. This is where he was going, but he's giving it back to Val. He plays it back to De Vries. He gives it to Val again into Tatanoli. Up to Rodriguez down the line to Gunty can find a decent ball in hopefully he does, can he find Marcus? Marcus can't get a header on it, Monty's going to pick it out though drives forward decent ball again, Rodriguez Lucas Rodriguez gets his first goal for us good player from Monty decent ball in, back post Good header. Oh. And we're 1 0 up. So, highlight straight away. And can we win the battle ball back? Um, hoofed from the Sunderland goalkeeper. Missed. We haven't won the header, but we've won picked up the second ball. <coughs> Val to Val. To Noli. Rodriguez with burst forward. Just looking for his partner in crime. It doesn't lift left foot ball in. Ah, Marcus with the header over the bar there. Right. Going to the front. Finds Rodriguez. Back to Tanoli. Back into Rodriguez. Lovely touch. Can he put it in? He can't bend it in with his left. Unlucky. I don't know why he hit it with his left when he's right footed. Looks like he's got de decent left, but still probably should hit that with his right. Alright, highlight here. In good interception. Well, blocked. Didn't quite get the ball, but unlucky. What was that? Uh, foul on Isaac, was there? Really? No penalty. Let's say. Bit of a weird decision there, but okay. Alright, Gunter wins the header. Rodriguez plays it back to Val. Out to Gunty. He can burst down this right hand side again. Decent ball in. Marcas. Can't beat the keeper this time. Freeze with the goal kick. Tries to find Isaac. Doesn't quite make him, but Gunter's got it. Because it's Rodriguez. Bursts down this right hand side. It's going to look for someone in the box. Skips past his man. Tries to find Isaac in the middle. Doesn't quite find Isaac. Falls to Tello and he takes a deflection and it goes wide. Right. Tello comes over for the corner. Decent boy in. No. Rodriguez now has it. The Tello I thought looked offside, but he didn't. And Gunty blasts one in. And he's having a bit of a better game today, isn't he? I should understand why he can't deal with fast players, because that's the reason I've signed him as well, because he's pretty quick for a fullback. Tello with a free kick. Dinks over to Oscar. Back to Tello. Nice touch. Isaac Mars offside. But it come not oh, nothing anyway. He didn't even put it away. Uh, the front three having a bit of a quiet game today. Right. Tanoli. Ventelli. Van Valentin, Tello, Monte, Tello, Valentin, Tello, 
Okay, I'll align to Monty, but it doesn't. Now Monty's got it. Bursts forward, gets beaten to the ball. Right. Win that back to Noli. Nice. Tello. Decent boy with the top for Oscar. Oscar to finish it surely. Good defending from Stanfield. To get back and get the block in. He has to take, finds these at back post. Nearly, nearly. Don't know why we're not aiming for the two six foot six guys, but. Uh, set piece coach, it's up to you, isn't it? Oscar nearly gets the interception, but can't quite. But Val does now. Gives that to Teller, gives Rodriguez. Free ball to Oscar, tries to free ball to. Isaac, Isaac, even if they are offside, mate, that should still go in the back of the net. Right, Rodriguez on this left hand side for the free kick, free kick, the corner, and he finds Brian. Maybe we just call him Brian. There we go. What did I say? Aim for the six foot six guys. We might score. What do we do? We score. Alright, still not even the second half yet. Still the first half and we're freeing it up. Um, looking very comfortable at the moment in time. And Monte, oh, you should have had that. Monte, you got skinned there, though, mate. Get back. That's it. Help out. We've stopped from having an awful shot on goal. Right, still going. Monte on this left hand side of the throne finds Tello. Tello drives into the box. Probably should pass it. Yeah, Tello should have passed that, mate. Right, Kunti to find Rodriguez. Nice touch. Gets away from his man. Whips the ball in. Tello, back post. No. Fine, Monte's going to collect it. Finds Tanoli. Back to Monte. Decent ball to Isaac. Isaac, Isaac, maybe that I need to spend some more money by getting a striker. I thought I could trust. Isaac's meant to be one of the top goal scorers this season. Recommend to be what is meant to odds on to be one of the top goal scorers this season. Oh, he's not finding his leg, but Oscar's done really well there. Through to Isaac. Can he put it away this time? No, he can't. He takes too long. He was onside. The right, the left back played him on. Right, good. 3 0 up. Good performance all round, apart from Isaac needs to get into the swing of things. Um, really, he needs to stop missing these easy chances that he's getting. Right, do you see a kickoff highlight was straight into a corner? Right, Tello whips in, back post, finds foul. What's the referee blowing up for? Who can we offside? No, he's not offside anyway. I couldn't see him celebrating at the bottom. So who could be offside? No, yeah, I guess. Sort of block the keeper's view. Maybe that should have been given as offside, but I'll take it. Both centre backs scoring, which is nice. That's our threat really from the corners. If we decide to hit it towards them, they're both six foot six. There we go. And again, nearly scored again. Bullet header hits off the post this time. Right, Monty, Tello, drives in, has a pop, can't quite get it on target, he's going on to his right foot, uh, we win the corner, going to take a short one it looks like here, he does, gives it to Rodriguez, whips a nice ball in, keeper has it easily. Oscar is playing okay, Isaac's playing okay, but they're they're the weaker two at the moment, aren't they? Keeping a clean sheet would be nice. Good tackle, because it's Rodriguez up to Isaac. Isaac's gonna lose it. No, he doesn't somehow, but he does an absolutely awful pass. But we forced him to shoot from range and that is absolutely fine. Oh, 
Oscar is really tired. I know it did say his fitness wasn't fully up to scratch. Um, so we'll give you another chance. Um, no one else is really playing. Do we do we just keep Isaac on just to try and get his confidence up, or do we let Rob have a run out? Let's let Rob have a run out. He played well in the friendlies. Why not? Uh, to know he's playing well, but let's give you your chance to come on. I'm gonna just do that. Because um, the gel, the his debut as well, which is nice. Right, short one taken. Tally whip back post. Oh, nice header, but a bit too far out to score from there. Looks like it's going to be a comfortable win. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shout a bit of praise out. Even the guys that come on have been liked that as well. Nice. All right, tell out. Oh, saved keeper. Oh. Tell out deliver the same sort of ball again. I think we'll score it. Oh, no, I can't quite get onto it. But it's definitely a threat, isn't it? It's so close. Two of them we scored, three of them we've got very close. 30 seconds left. Keep the clean sheet would be nice. Hold on, good tackle. Nice, just sensible. Lovely. No, no need to be stupid now. Cool. I'm not sure if that is working. It says it has because Tanoli's played at 7.4. But then, is he sitting too far back? Then, with that defensive attack, also is this guy there the, the current Chelsea goalkeeper? Anyway, um, yeah, A good good performance all round. Apart from. Isaac not being up to scratch, but that puts us up to second currently because we scored four goals at the same as Arsenal. Triumphant makes his debut and great performance from the young centre back. Right, yeah, so we are still trying to get rid of some players. We're still um, trying to figure out if that is going to be the best. As a defensive role, um, then we need to figure out if it's better to drop to a more, drop the line slightly against uh, some of the bigger teams, or maybe even play just play on positive instead of attacking um, against the bigger teams. But that is it for now. If we got Middlesbrough or anyone coming up soon, we haven't. We got Middlesbrough there, but would Middlesbrough land? Not really, so we'll probably have to play that Middlesbrough game, won't we? But yeah, well, we'll come back somewhere around here. It might be Man City and Leicester. Um, looking at quick glance, it might be those two games there. It may be a little bit further on, depending on what happens, because we've not had our Champions League games drawn yet. But hopefully, we can carry on with our winning ways and then beat United as well in the league. Go on from there. But um, as always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon.